Good evening, everybody. It's Tom Christie in the painting studio, and today's video is going to be short, but it's going to be the painting of a side pocket of a Drake shoveler, including the vermiculation. Lots of colors going on, kind of unusual colors, but beautiful on that Drake shoveler side pocket. So this is a shorter version of a much longer video that I put together that is available for sale on my website at tomchristieart.com, but I thought showing this portion of a shoveler might be helpful to, to those of you out there who might be painting a shoveler at this time. If you're enjoying uh, my YouTube channel, please hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate that and it helps me out. It doesn't cost anything, but that way you'll get notification of new content as I continue to build this channel. I've really appreciated the feedback, the encouragement, and I plan to keep, keep going. So let's get to that shoveler. For the base coat on the side pockets, I'm using a combination of gold oxide and brown earth. More gold oxide than brown earth, but it toned the uh, brown earth kind of tones the gold down somewhat. And then I'm going to coat these side pockets in this area under the rump. And uh, then I'm going to use brown earth to come back and darken the lower part of this. Okay, now I'm using the same brush coming back with just the straight brown earth. And then the lower... edge of this side pocket, just darkening that, and also as it approaches the breast, giving a little bit of a darker hue to that portion of the side pocket. And then wet on wet, blending that into the value above. Now I'm combining the yellow oxide with raw sienna and then using uh, gesso to lighten that mixture. I've got a uh, filbert shaped brush and I'm going to use that if I can get it lined up with the camera here to go to the top of the side pocket and begin a wet on wet blend to lighten the top edge of this side pocket. Got a slightly smaller filbert now and let that previous blend dry. Now I'm going back and lightening this a little further and blending it. No better shot of that blend from dark to light on the side pocket. Same thing on this side. I've used the chalk pencil to identify some feathers, patterns on the side of the bird, and now um, I'll be using a small scrubber and this light upper side pocket color to begin to scrub some soft feather indications. And as we go down, I'll use a little darker value. So I'm using a one eighth inch chisel scrubber and I'm using that raw sienna, gesso and yellow oxide mix that we use to lighten the top of the side pockets. And uh, adding a little bit more white to that so that we get a slightly lighter value. And I'm going in and beginning to scrub uh, where I had those ch chalk lines definition of these uh, side pocket feathers. You want a pretty pretty good firm line on the edge and then softly scrub back. Use that texture to pull paint off of the brush and make a nice blend as you go back into the feather. Now I'm adding a little of the gold oxide to that same mix and on the 
bottom edges of these feathers beginning a transition from this nice golden color to a more orange rust value. Still lighter than the base and we don't want these to be too bright but begin to define feather structure. Okay, work that side pocket and you can see um, you can definitely see the feather edges. It's a little too scaly looking. So to soften things down, I've just got clear water on a flat brush and just pull that through the entire side pocket. And you don't want to overdo this so that you pull out all of the detail or blend it all out. But this has a tendency to take the colors that are here and do a little bit of a mix. And I'm not hitting the top of the side pocket while I'm pulling this wet through here um, because I don't want this to turn orange, but this has a tendency to soften things. Just taking a little of the brown earth color and uh, using water and putting a light wash on the lower edge to further soften those feathers as they kind of fade down into the belly. And I'm going into this lower area of the rump with a little um, raw sienna with a touch of white and just scrubbing in a few feather indications in that area uh, that then we can vermiculate over. I'm going to start vermiculating down here. This is uh, chroma chestnut. And the vermiculation on these in this lower rump is kind of coarse. So I'm just following these scrubbed feather lines that I've put in place and making a series of um, rows of vermiculation. Quick shot of the finished vermiculation down there. I did pull a little bit of that uh, vermiculation into the white across that boundary line. Now I'm going to work on the side pocket vermiculation. And on a shoveler drake, the vermiculation is fairly wide between markings. And then it's more prevalent on the top side of the um, side pocket and then kind of fades out as it goes deeper into the side pocket. So we're going to use the uh, chestnut color and begin to just do a series of markings. Again, I'm Facing, putting quite a bit of distance between rows of vermiculation. And then fade these out as you get closer to the edge of the feather. Start another row, doing some zigs and zags, or developing those as we go. And I'm going to repeat that process all along the side pocket. So I'll show a series of shots as the vermiculation develops. A little farther along. Covering the top of the side pocket first. And we'll go down to the next row, feathers below. It's a tedious process, it just takes patience to keep your consistency, keep the consistency of the paint right so that you're not leaving blobs or light spots, and you can always go back 
and take another shot at the cleaning up the vermiculation. It's a little farther along and you can see as I get lower in the side pocket, these lower feathers, I'm just doing a partial and allowing the vermiculation to fade out as you go down to this darker area below. Now that vermiculation is complete, we can pull in some splits. I've got the off-white here, just pulling in a few splits from the rump area into that side pocket. Got the burnt umber. Pull in some splits down here. And pull those right through the vermiculation. Now I'm using the chestnut. Pull a few splits in here. I added a few feathers sticking up there into the white with um, brown earth. It's a quick shot of that finished side pocket. And now we'll go to the opposite side and repeat that process. Completed the vermiculation on this opposite side and I'm going to pull in some black carbon black splits coming off of the um, speculum there. And then there's white here, so I want to pull a white split there, and then maybe some darker gray along here. Got a dark gray value to pull in off of the wing patch area. nice. Hey, I hope that's been helpful. It's Tom Christie signing out. Until next time, good carving to you.